Now this idea of agitators in the crowds, that is a growing theme here about why they're unable to get this community under control. When I say they, I mean the community, yes. because the leaders came out, Malik Shabazz and others were saying, we can control this. What are you seeing? Do you see an insurgent group there? Um, yeah, I was hiding with a few people last night, and they were telling me that people were coming from Chicago, coming from California, West Virginia, and they're like, it's not us doing that, though there probably are a few. But they're saying mostly the people are coming here to steal from their stores um, just to take advantage of the situation. What do they say they want when you're with the, the real people from yeah. Ferguson? Because, again, we're dealing with a very small community here. Mm -hmm. What do they want right now, and what is their reaction to the police and security? Um, they definitely want um, justice for what happened, you know. They're getting this treatment for holding signs and protesting, but the guy that shot somebody and murdered somebody at point-blank range or in the back, however it'll come out, uh, he's, you know, in a house somewhere, you know, on paid leave or... The officer you're talking about, yes. shot versus murdered, is a very big distinction. That's what the investigation's all yeah, about. Totally. Do you get the sense that people are following that investigation, or you think it's just simple frustration right now, not so much information-driven, but emotional? I think it's a mix of both. I think they're they're holding on to every word that leads you know closer to a decision of what he did and so it's tough to say are you seeing emotion or are you seeing frustration at the end of the day they just want justice and i think that's the leading feeling because they've been going through this for years and you know racism is terrible and it's sad to say in 2014 it's still here in ferguson